really what it comes down to is write something that people can understand and write something that tells your story. And if you spend the time doing that and you spend the time sitting in that discomfort, you know, like you said, this might be totally new to you if I ask you to give me your elevator pitch on why your organization matters. But if you spend the time to do that, then you can write better grants and funders are going to say, oh, I understand what they're doing and why it matters. And ultimately, that's why we're here to do this. So like I said, pillar number one, having that grant language really, really nailed down, knowing it's going to change, knowing it's going to be adaptive, knowing that every single grant you write is going to be different, but you still need that foundation to fall back on. I would just write it and give it to the neighbor kid and see if he can tell me what it is that I do. Hey, hey, read this, read this one pager here and then tell me what it is that you think that we do. And they'll tell you. They'll be like, I don't understand what you're trying to say here. This doesn't make sense. And then you know, you have that benchmark, you know where you stand. Another really wonderful thing about going through this process and writing your grant boilerplate, whether you are launching a grants program a little longer into your tenure as an organization or really just starting out, is it makes you focus on what really matters in your mission. I worked with a wonderful organization here in Austin, Texas, that was a musical organization. They were a local community choir, and they were writing grants in the way that you're, quote, supposed to do if you look at any sort of grant template online. And they were boring, quite frankly. And I talked to my clients like that, so no one's going to be offended. The grants were boring. They said things like, we bring music to Austin. Please give us money. And as I started to get to know them, personally and having candid conversations over a glass of wine or talking about their upcoming events, I realized that yes, they were bringing music to Austin, but they were also commissioning new music from local young composers and going around the world and sourcing some of the best talent in classical music. And they had this really strong focus on reshaping classical music for the younger generation which was exciting. It was exciting to hear. It was exciting to read about. And if you looked at their grants from two years ago, you would not know that. A funder would have no way of knowing that. And they were a little scared to put it out there because it wasn't, quote, what you were supposed to do. And when we started really bringing in the actual work and phrasing it in that why does this matter way and telling people what they were going to do to to achieve success, they started getting money. So telling your story honestly, truly, succinctly, and in a compelling way is really the core of grant writing, just like any other fundraising. Yeah. And if COVID taught us anything, if you do things the way you're quote unquote supposed to do them, you're just going to end up closing up shop and then you're not going to be able to provide services anymore. So don't stick with the same time to innovate and do something new. 